On day one, I spawned in as a warden worm deep within my desert ancient city. I looked around only to see my warden people being attacked by a bunch of monster hunters. Are they after us? I ran throughout the battlefield and watched as the hunters started to hurt and capture my people as if they were just doing it for fun. Ha <laughs> that's two points. I'm going for three. As I was distracted, I was spotted by one of them. He rushed in to attack and I thought I was done for until our warden elder jumped in the way and took him down. We can't let them capture you, my boy. You are special and we're created so that we can put an end to these hunters. Me? But how? Just then, a much larger monster hunter slammed down in the center of our city. Where is that warden worm? I, Urgent, will hunt you down just like the rest of this world's monsters so that I can be the most powerful hunter yet. You need to leave now and find Aaron. He will know how to make you strong enough to save our people. Odin then noticed the two of us and rushed forward only to unleash a powerful attack on my elder. No! Go! Now! I ran for my life, leaving all of my people behind. Capture these pathetic monsters and get me that worm! On day two, I was slithering through the caves as fast as I could with monster hunters chasing behind me. They shot at me using their advanced hunter gear. Oh no, I'm trapped! <laughs> you know, we enjoy taking your people down and once we have you ha, our power will be used to kill the rest of the monsters in this world i'm not a monster out of my frustration i began to mine deep in the ground whoa i can burrow oh no you don't get the drill using this newfound ability i began to mine a path to get me out of this cave it wasn't long until i heard heavy machinery and realized there was a drill mining right after me ah! i then mined out of a wall side only to find myself inside of a strange nest home what is this place? There you are! <laughs> the monster hunter began to rush in, but out of nowhere, dropped down a very large griffin beast. On day three, the griffin started to fight off the monster hunter, easily destroying his machine. The hunter ran up and tried his best to hurt him with his weaponry, but the griffin sliced him with his claw and sent him back. He had incredible agility and strength and would even use his wings to summon deadly gusts of wind around us. No! No! The griffin then landed on the hunter, taking him down for good. Whoa, you, you saved me. I thought I was safe, but the bird turned towards me and approached with anger. Wait, uh, I don't mean you any harm. This is my home and you are not welcome here. I was backed into a corner and thought I was done for. Please, look, I'm looking for Aaron, okay? My people, they're in danger. Well, it's true. You must be the creature the Wardens have spent years creating. Fine, I'll help take you where you need to go. On day four, the griffin flew me high up throughout the lands, but all I was seeing was pure chaos. The world was full of deadly villages and outposts filled with cages of different beasts, animals, you name it. The hunters are doing this? This is horrible. This is the world now. With Odin and his people at large, all creatures of any kind are being hunted down and stripped of their freedoms, including your wardens. We then landed within a desert ruin with a strange warden eye artifact sat at its center. Go and pick it up. Okay. I listened, and once I touched it, my entire body began to shake. I gained five more hearts and grew larger in size, becoming a stronger warden worm. Whoa! This is the first of five warden eye fragments. They grant any being incredible beast-like abilities when equipped. I am Aaron. 
and have helped the Wardens in their quest on creating you. They believe your strength can be enough to stop this. Well, if these items increase my strength, then I will go out and find all of them. Rustling then sounded off, and out of the bushes rushed an advanced hunter. There you are. We have all the Wardens under our watch, and when I bring you in, I will be rewarded on day five the advanced hunter rushed in and began to attack he summoned two more arms and now had four very sharp swords oh no but with my new upgrade i now had the ability to shoot out deadly skulk venom at him ha take that we fought each other blow for blow he was not an easy opponent as he shot out poison all throughout the area but i knew i could not let my people down with the one final skulk venom attack i was able to fully take down the hunter yes upon his death dropped a note that said do not let that worm find those wardenai artifacts go out and find the croak empire before he does the croak empire huh that must be where another one is i knew that there were going to be more hunters after me so aaron and i started to forge a new hideout within this desert ruin i made my very own home inside of a sand cave while i also made aaron a small nest lying on top of a tree as aaron and i were admiring our new work i saw a sand block fall near my cave oops Oh no. What was that? I walked over only to see a tiny warden hiding in fear. No, please don't hurt me. I barely was able to escape from those hunters. I have nowhere else to go. Escape? Where exactly did you escape from? On day six, the tiny warden brought me within the nearest forest until we reached an outpost much larger than the ones I'd seen before. I watched as countless hunters were inside, upgrading their weaponry. And right next to them were rows of cages holding wardens and my warden elder. Let us go. Ah, shut it. I have to get them out of here. I was about to run in, blinded by my rage. But just then, Odin entered the courtyard. Everyone listen! This warden worm is a threat to our clan. Do you not understand? It can grow to be the strongest among all beasts in this world. This is why we must obtain its scales so that we can forge weaponry with power like no other. But we will need backup. He then walked forward and ignited a platform, causing lightning to summon all around him. In one huge burst, dropped down a knight bounty hunter. Magnus, I know you've never failed a hunt, which is why I need you to go and find that worm. Very well. Leave it to me. Oh no, this isn't good. I need to find the Croak Empire, fast. You mean that kingdom of frogs? I know where that place is. Come on, follow me. On day seven, the tiny warden led me deep within a swamp, but we were quickly met by a moat. Is that polluted swamp water? Gross. I then looked across and waiting on the other side was the Croak Empires. Okay, but how do we get across? I think I have an idea. Follow me. I used my burrow ability, allowing me to dig deep underground. Thankfully, I was able to mine below the moat and make it safely on the other side. However, as I exited, I found myself in the middle of their entire kingdom. Maybe I mined too far? Halt! Oh, uh, Wardworm. Uh, those wards are really getting creative with their creations, huh? Huh, yeah, no kidding. We know why you're here. You will not get that ward and I fragment. I then looked up, and lying on their tallest tower was the Warden Eye. Please, I need it. Just then, I heard a very loud, and in a huge splash, landed their king 
frog. I am Emperor Croak. We see that Fragment has good luck to our people. We have lost too many to those hunters. Well, I'm trying to stop them. There has to be some way I can get it from you. You know, this empire loves a show. I think I have an idea on how you can prove your work. On day eight, Emperor Croak brought me back to the center of their kingdom with a crowd of frogs watching. The rules are simple. If you can get to that warden fragment, you win. But in order to do that, ah! you have to get past the king. Okay, deal. Horns then sounded off, and the frog king began to attack me. He used his high leaps to his advantage and pushed me back away from the tower. Ah! Pack off! I fought back, using my skull venom on him, and tried my best to get to their tower. Unfortunately, he would shoot out deadly water attacks at me, and even shot his tongue out, swallowing me whole. Let me out of here. Ah, ow! Wait a minute. I have an idea. I continued to fight the frog, and waited for him to shoot his tongue again. Here goes nothing. He shot me out. Come on! I did it! I reached the Warden Fragment! I picked it up, causing me to upgrade once more. I gained five hearts, grew in size, and now had the ability to do explosive bites at my enemy. Awesome! I went back to the courtyard towards the king. Emperor Crow is very impressed. You earned it. But without this fragment, my kingdom's luck is gone. You know, I think I have an idea. On days 9 to 10, I gathered up all the frogs in the Croak Empire to come back to my base. Thank you for offering shelter to my people until we stop those men. Odin will stop at nothing to take us all down. Yeah, I know. I just don't get why he hates us so much. I'm not quite sure, but what I've heard is that he lost someone very close to him, but it's just a rumor. Who could he have lost? We continued to walk out of the swamps and back towards the desert until I heard a voice coming towards us. The sky became clouded as flames appeared and a figure rose from the ground. Yo, I thought I smelled a warden worm around here. Oh no, leave, leave now. The frogs and the tiny warden all left back towards my base. You, you're trying to hunt me down. What you hunters are doing, it's not right. Not right? You are monsters, beasts. You don't know any better, especially you warden. Oh yeah? Well, I'll show you. Magnus then charged straight in. He spun around and slashed me with his very large sword. Ah! With just one hit, I was knocked down to only a few hearts. Oh no, he's too strong. I gotta get out of here. I began to burrow down into the ground, but Magnus ran down the tunnel straight behind me. Get back here. He was about to catch me, but thankfully, I dug straight underneath a pool of lava. It fell and separated the two of us. Count your days, you worm. They are numbered. On days 11 to 12, I made my way back to base and saw that all of the frogs and the tiny warden made it here safely. Thank goodness. I got to work building up a place for all of the frog people. I made sure to theme it around their kingdom so that they could feel just at home. After that, I quickly was able to build the tiny warden their very own tiny home as well. Wow, Fozo, this is amazing. Oh, and that reminds me, I wanted to show you something. What is it? The tiny warden then used her warden senses to locate and pull out from the ground all of the surrounding ore around our base. We are wardens, remember? I can sense everything. Whoa, that's awesome. Thanks. With the tiny warden's help, I was able to find enough iron to make myself a set of iron tools. Awesome. Fozo, I'm glad you made it back safely. And by the looks of things, you're even stronger now. I am, Aaron, thankfully. Well, if you're up for another journey, I found where the next Warden Fragment is. You did? Yes. Now come on, I'll show you. 
On days 13 to 14, I followed behind Aaron until he brought me to the top of an icy mountain. At its peak were strange pillars surrounding a warden eye fragment. But something was wrong. It's frozen? That's right. This fragment is useless unless we can melt it. And there is only one way to do so. How? Aaron led me to the side of the mountain, overlooking the rest of the tundra. Deep within this land lies a very dangerous ice beast. But with its help, we just might be able to thaw this fragment. Be warned, he is not friendly. Great. He then flew away with the frozen fragment to keep it safe at our base. And I continued into the tundra until I saw a fire? That's not normal. I approached and started to see that the fire was coming from a burning tundra village. It was being raided by the monster hunters. Oh no. On days 15 to 16, I watched as monster hunters began to corner some defenseless tundra creatures. Please. No, wait. One of the hunters swung and killed the creature without a second thought. I have to stop this. I charged in and used my new explosive bite to attack them. They turned to fight back, but I was quick and was able to take all of them down with my abilities. Yes. I looked around at the burning village and just when I thought I killed the last hunter, one of the home's walls exploded outwards. Yeah. We finally meet face to face. Odin, you have to stop this. All of it. You're hurting countless innocent lives. Lives? You guys are just monsters. He leapt into the air and tried to slam down onto me, summoning lightning everywhere. Stop. Look, I heard you lost someone close to you. I'm sorry, but you can't just take it out on us. You know nothing about me. My father, he was the greatest hunter to ever live. He taught me everything from skinning a rabbit to slaying beasts like you. Then one day on a hunt, he never returned. He was killed by one of you monsters. You beasts ended his life. And now I will do the same to all of you. He threw one of his axes directly at me and I was barely able to dodge out of the way. I gotta get out of here. I made a break for it. But just when I was about to make it out of the village, I felt the ice crack from underneath. Ah! Huh, I will avenge my father if it's the last thing I Dear. On day 17 to 18, I fell down and into the center of an ice temple. Ow! Where am I? The area looked abandoned and almost completely forgotten, except for... Ah! There was a tundra creature hiding behind a pillar. Hey, I'm not gonna hurt you. You're, you're not one of those hunters. They took my family from me. I know, I'm sorry. I'm trying to stop them, but I have to find an ice beast in order to do so. Oh, you mean the Yeti? Follow me. Wait, Yeti? He led me over to a very dark cave entrance deeper in the temple. So he's in here? Yep. Yeah. I began to slowly creep inside until I was totally encased in darkness. And then... Ah! Ah! As I recovered from the hit, rushing out of the darkness was a huge ice yeti. On days 19 to 21, the powerful yeti jumped towards me in a rage, swinging at me with his giant fists. Hey! I began to fight back using my explosive bite attack. But the Yeti was so strong, he barely seemed to flinch. I tried to run and gain some distance, but he would keep burrowing towards me before forming a ball of ice that kicked at me. Ah, stop it. I'm not here to fight you. Yeah, no. I can't do that. I need your help in unfreezing a warden fragment. Help, hunters attack because of you. Now leave my home. Yeti! The monster hunters attacked my village! They took me away from my family! They need to be stopped! The Yeti calmed down. Fine, if you want help, I show you. But you do the rest. Show us what? Both of you 
follow. On days 22 to 26, the Yeti led us out of his icy caves until we came to a large lava and ice lake. Unfreeze fragment, the item you need. Here. In the lake? Yes, under the lake. You must find it. Okay, here I go. I began to dig deep down, tunneling under the pool, searching for any clue of the Yeti's item. But as I dug, I accidentally mined in another icy cave with spikes falling down. Okay, a uh, wrong way. I continued to dig, having to dodge around more traps and being careful not to dig too close to lava pools. Eventually, I I found it. Another cave opening, but it was no longer icy. And in the center was a pedestal holding a potion of molten magma. This, this has to be it. I rushed up and grabbed the potion. This will definitely unfreeze the frozen warden fragment. On days 27 to 29, I went back to my base, potion in hand and seal with me. I found that Aaron had built some sort of containment pillar for the frozen fragment. Hey, here you go. Good work, but it'll take some time to set things up. While he was doing that, I went and got enough materials to make Seal their very own home to stay in. Thanks, Fozo. It's nice to know us creatures have each other's backs. Agreed. I ran back to Aaron and saw that his containment area was now filled with hot magma. Okay, I'm guessing it's ready. I then watched as the frozen fragment began to melt and crack until it finally thawed. Yes, I grabbed the fixed fragment, causing me to become even stronger. I gained five more hearts and felt my body grow. Now, I could use my size to shake the ground around me with a powerful slam attack. Awesome! So, is it true? Rumors quickly spread that Odin's father was killed by a beast. Yeah, and now he's letting his rage blind him. It just doesn't make any sense. His dad was known as the world's strongest monster hunter. Things aren't adding up, Fozo. What do you mean? Stop it! What was that? I ran out of the base to see that there in a cage was my warden elder? Oh my goodness, you're okay. I'm getting you out of here now. I ran up to the cage and noticed that she looked weak. My dear boy, no, get out of here. It's a trap. What? Before I knew it, Magnus appeared, leaping down between me and the elder. As he did, giant walls of metal formed around us, trapping me in. <laughs> you were... You aren't going anywhere! On days 30 to 32, I was face to face with Magnus in his metal arena. You used my elder as bait? Yes, and you fell for it! There's no running this time! He rushed in to attack me, spinning around wildly with his sword and shield. Ah! Take this! I used my new power slam ability, causing the ground beneath us to erupt. The attack definitely hurt Magnus, but the blast also hit my elder. Ah! Oh no, I need to be careful. Magnus used the opening to kick me back, then followed up with multiple sword attacks as I was cornered. I was starting to get lower and lower on hearts, and he kept blocking my attacks. I can't give up. I used my explosive attack to push Magnus back, but his hits were just way too strong. Magnus then landed a blow that almost knocked me out. Ah! It's a pity they want you alive. You're coming with me. My vision went blurry from the fight, and I started to pass out. On days 33 to 35, I woke up chained to a strange platform in the middle of a room full of monster hunters. Ah, I feel so weak. Ha ha ha! Warden Worm, you really thought you'd put an end to my empire? What did you do to me? More so, what did you just do for us? We have taken some of your scales, and with them, we will upgrade our weaponry so that we can move on to the next part of our plan. Next 
apart? Quiet! Hunters, get to work! In this one, put him with the others. We have what we want. A couple of hunters walked forward and began to escort me deep underneath their outpost. It wasn't long until I was thrown into a cage in a room filled with my wardens. Fozo, I'm so sorry. I tried to warn you. It's okay. We're all alive. That's what matters. Odin is planning something, though. We need to get out of here and fast. Yeah, good luck, pal. These people only see us as entertainment here. Entertainment? Just then, the opposite side of my cage opened up. What the? I walked out only to have the door slam behind me and to see that I was in a massive arena with monster hunters looking down at me. Oh, no! On days 36 to 39, I looked around the whole Coliseum. I need to find a way out of here! I then heard another cage open on the opposite side, and walking out of it was a tall amethyst golem! Fight! 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 Whoa, 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 wait! We don't have to listen to them! We can work together and get out of here! Get out of here? Impossible! Sir, it's either you or me! No hard feelings. The golem then started throwing amethyst shards at me. I dodged them, only to realize they turned into tiny amethyst golems? What the? They ran at me while he continued to attack with his massive arm. We began to fight as he attacked me continuously. Ah, stop it. Fight me. The golem stomped on the ground and sent forward shards of amethyst that hit me on the head. No, we are not monsters. In my frustration, I unleash an extremely powerful warden boom, destroying everything around me. Whoa. What? Close the cages. Don't let them escape. In the midst of the destruction, I noticed that there was a way out. I got to get the wardens and get out of here. On days 40 to 44, I escaped with all the wardens straight out of the hunter's outpost. Thankfully, we were able to make it safely back to base. That was close. Before doing anything else, I made sure to get enough materials to build up all of the wardens, their very own ancient styled home. And done. Oh, Fozo, I'm so proud how strong you've become. The warden elder collapsed right in front of me. Why is this happening? Vozo, what's wrong? Aaron, the hunters, they must have done something to her. She looks so weak. If we don't do something soon, she might not make it. But we have to help her. I have an idea on where we can get an item that might help her, but we have to hurry. Odin, uh, we, we had no idea that he would escape. Rawr! I trusted idiots with one job! One! And now that worm is back out in the world! Rawr! No matter, those of you who are still worth the air you breathe, forge your weapons! Once my exes possess that worm's power, he won't be a problem anymore. On days 45 to 47, I went as quickly as I could with Eren until we arrived at some sort of desert dungeon. But the entrance was sealed shut. Great. Now what? I'll fly up and look around. Aaron took to the skies as I looked more intently at the entrance. I noticed that the door was being held up by two pillars that sunk into the ground. That's it. I tunneled below the door and straight through each of the pillars, breaking them down one by one. When the last one was broken, the entire entrance collapsed and was opened up. You did it! The two of us ran inside, only to see the dungeon's vast, dark interior. Whoa! There, that's the item we need. I looked up and saw that in the center of the chamber was a large tiki sitting in the center, and behind it laid the golden totem of healing. That's it! I began to hurry towards it, but as I moved forward, I heard a click under my body. Uh-oh! The whole room began to shake and suddenly the entire floor dropped down exposing a large elaborate parkour towards the center and if i fall i'd land on deadly spikes great activate defense mechanism 
Mama. I then noticed that the tall Tiki in the center had come to life. It started to launch elemental attacks around the platforms. Okay, focus. I have to get that totem. On days 48 to 52, I started to jump between the floating platforms heading towards the totem. But the Tiki heads were spouting flames directly at me. Ah! I jumped away to one of the platforms just before I saw a rock flying right at me. It hit me head on and I almost fell straight off. Knock it off. Intruder! Stay back! Bolts of lightning started to flash throughout the room, making it even harder to jump across. But I knew I had to do it. Here goes nothing. I jumped and finally made it on top of the center platform. But as I did, the tiki's all dissembled into three individual ones. Ah! They began their attacks, each wielding a different elemental power. I began to fight back when one of them seemed to recognize me. Wait. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Are you the wooden one? Yeah, I kind of need that totem to save my elder. Well, why didn't you say something? Us tikis don't have very good eyesight, you know. We know about your quest to take down those hunters, and we totally agree with it. Ow, oh, ow, oh, uh, follow us. You should see this. The tikis led me into a separate room of the dungeon, and there was a map? We've been guarding this bad boy. It should lead you to your next warden fragment. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those crazy hunters have been trying to get into this place for ages to get it. That's why we had to secure the entrance. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, forget about it. You can take the map and the totem. Just stop those hunters. On days 53 to 56, Aaron and I rushed back to our base. I ran directly into where my elder was resting and placed the totem of healing next to her. This caused the entire room to instantly start glowing. Yes, yes. In a burst of vibrant light, my elder stood up and looked completely healed. <gasps> my goodness, thank you. Those hunters didn't treat us well at all. I didn't think I was going to make it. I'm just glad you're okay. My, you really have grown so much. I'm so proud of all you have done for our kind. The work isn't done yet. I just got this map that leads to the next Warden Eye fragment. It looks like it shows something called the Grand Forest. Ah, that forest is a dangerous place. You must be careful. I know, but it seems like I don't have a choice. I need those fragments to stop. Odin. On days 57 to 59, I was making my way to the Grand Forest, and I stopped only to see a massive tree line. Whoa! I then heard screams. Run! Run! I ran towards the trees to see that on the edge of the forest was a town of smaller tree people, but they were being raided by the monster hunters. Oh no, the hunters were using their new and improved weapons to cut down the homes and tree people with ease. They weren't kidding. They upgraded their gear. Hey, hunters, over here. The Warden Worm, get him. I rushed into battle and fought off as many of the hunters as I could. I used my abilities to hit multiple of them at a time, but they were much stronger than before. <laughs> Oh, you think we are a challenge? You have no idea how strong Odin has now become. No, I started to fight harder than ever before, using my power slam to knock out a group of them, and then my explosive bite to take down the final one. With only a few hearts to spare, the tree village was saved. That was close. You have saved us, weird creature. I can tell you're not from around here. Yeah, I'm visiting this forest, looking for for a warden eye fragment. Oh, if you want that, you must travel to the forest core. Can you lead me there? For saving my home? Absolutely. On days 60 to 63, I followed the tree person as they led me deep into the grand forest until we met a clearing, revealing a lost kingdom. The fragment should be in there, the core, but I shall go no further. I pushed forward inside the main entrance and found an ominous clearing. There, high up in the branches, was the Warden Fragment. Yes! Now, just to get it. Why have you come here, Warden Worm? Who said that? I looked out, and appearing through the trees was a tall treant. I am Skull, guardian of this fragment. 
I need that fragment, Skog. For what? To stop the hunter Odin, I presume? Yes, he has to be stopped. It's the only way. No, you will do no such thing. Skog suddenly rushed towards me in a rage. Wait! On days 64 to 65, Skog moved in and started to attack me. He was so powerful and used the elements of nature to his advantage. He would stomp on the ground and cause jaw-like plants to appear and hit me. Ah! I knew I had to fight back. Stop this! We're on the same side! Skog was fueled by rage and kept hitting me. He would reach into to the earth and cause roots to shoot out towards me. Why? Why don't you want to defeat Odin? Be quiet! He was about to attack again, but I ran in and bit into him with my explosive bite. Gah! This caused Skog to stumble back and briefly stop attacking. Uh, Odin, his actions are wrong. But it's all his father's fault. It's my fault. What? Wait, you're Odin's father? But how? Odin followed in my footsteps as my goal was to become the greatest hunter to ever exist. I would exceed my goals and reach higher and higher, slaying hurting animals and creatures, treating them like nothing but monsters. But then, on one fateful hunt, I was cursed into becoming the very thing I hunted. I knew my people would never accept me back, so I couldn't return. I came here, and over time, I have finally realized that the beasts we have hunted have emotions as well. So, you didn't die to a beast. You became one? Odin should know. He can't know that his own father has turned into the very thing he hates. But maybe if he knew, he would change. He hates the beasts because he thought you died to one. Skog suddenly smashed at the branch above, dropping the fragment. Maybe, just maybe, you are right, Worm. You may take the warning fragment. Thank you. I ran up and grabbed it, and this caused me to grow in power again. I gained five more hearts, and now I could rain down bursts of Sonic Boom energy from the sky. I felt so much stronger than before. On day 66 to 68, I was on my way back to base with Skog when suddenly Odin's lightning struck, and he was now right in front of us. You really thought you could escape from me? I'll give you credit. If there is one thing we both have in common, is that we both don't know when to give up. Odin, wait! He ran straight towards me with his sonic boom charged axes, but Skog jumped in the way, taking the blow. Ah! Odin began to attack as hard as he could, hacking into Skog's tree body. I could tell Skog didn't want to, but he began to defend himself. Odin, you need to stop this! Odin and Skog continued to fight until Skog hit him back with his root attack. But Odin countered with a very heavy hit. Now you shall die! Odin, son, it's me! Your father! He stood there, stunned. That can't be true! My father! He was a hunter! I was. But my rage turned me into this, son. These creatures have feelings, lives that we are just taking from them. You have to stop this now. I can't believe this. You may have been my father before, but you are not him today. Wait, Odin slung with the final heavy blow that killed his father. No, I knew I had to run as I quickly burrowed straight down and away from Odin. I have to get the final fragment. I have to. On day 69 to 71, I tunneled all the way to my base and saw that all of the wardens looked healthy again. They were even all working throughout the base, helping my other friends. The elder noticed me and walked over. This, Fozo, is what being a warden is all about. We are protectors. Our people are meant to keep all of the world's creatures safe. This is so amazing. I was admiring all of them when suddenly I heard the tiny warden panicking. Fozo, Fozo! Hey, 
what's wrong? Are you okay? Y yes, yes I am. I was just roaming around outside the base when I saw some monster hunters. They made a camp nearby. What did you find out? Well, I overheard them talking about the final warden fragment, but it is in possession of Magnus, and I know exactly where he lives. Great! Can you tell me? On day 72 to 74, I roamed around the overworld until I reached a clearing, and there it was, Magnus's keep. The huge walls and battlements were guarded and well too fortified for me just to dig through. Huh, I need to find another way in safely. Rah! I know it's around here somewhere. Uh, what was that? I walked over to the noise and saw an armored Enderman. Come on, come on. Where did I put my sword? Hey man, are you okay? No, I'm not. I lost my sword. How am I supposed to be an Enderman Knight without my sword? Whoa, whoa, it's okay. Wait a minute. I have an idea. If I find your sword, would you teleport me inside of that keep over there? You, my friend, have a deal. On day seven, 75 to 77, I began to burrow around the area. The Enderman said that he just went mining. It has to be around here somewhere. I then dug into a large cave. On a mound of stone was the Enderman's sword. Yes! I started to move closer, but then I realized that the cave had large cracks in the floor filled with lava. No! How do I get across? I looked around the room and noticed that the roof of the cave was made out of ton of loose gravel. Perfect. I shot my sonic venom ability, striking the roof and causing all the loose blocks to fall. Because of this, the large cracks in the ground were now filled with gravel, allowing me to walk across safely. I picked up the sword and quickly tunneled my way back to the surface and reunited with the Enderman Knight. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Now, can you get me inside of that keep? Oh, yeah. With ease. On day 78 to 80, the Enderman Knight teleported us far below Magnus's keep inside a dungeon room. Okay, now to get that fragment and get out of here, I started to walk through the dungeons, heading up the main outpost, but I was quickly stopped when I saw cages filled with the tundra creatures I saw earlier. Oh, feel so weak. You! You guys are Seal's family! Come on, let me help! I used my worm ability and broke open their cages. Thank you, Warden Warm. Of course! Stay here, I'll be right back. From there, I went up through the keep, making sure to avoid any hunter guards that were on post. It wasn't long before I entered a main courtyard room and in the center held the final Warden Fragment. Yes! I walked up and picked it up, causing my body to change one last time. I gained 10 more hearts, grew larger in size, and was now a very large warden worm. I did it! On days 81 to 85, I was leaving the room, but was interrupted by Magnus walking out from the shadows. You really have come back for more, haven't you? I do have to say, I am quite impressed with your escape. But I am Magnus, the best bounty hunter there is. No one escapes my capture. He charged in and began to attack me. I'm here to show you how wrong you really are. I fought back, this time using my newly found abilities. Because I was a fully upgraded Warden Worm, I was able to summon a tornado of sonic boom energy. Ah! Magnus felt my newly found strength. Last time, he was able to overpower me, but now he was no match. No, no! With one final hit, I was able to fully take down the Night Hunter. Ha, take that. From there, I quickly gathered the Tundra creatures outside and started our journey back home. But as we started our travels, I heard a loud, Oh no, what can that be? On days 86 to 90, I separated from the creatures, heading straight for the horns. But the sight that met me was absolutely horrifying. I watched rows of destruction caused by the newly upgraded hunters. Trees were burned, grass was dead, and there was smoke 
everywhere. Under the name of Odin, the final sweep has begun. Go through the lands and make sure there isn't a single living creature. From there, hunters started to go out and kill any animal that they can find. No, this has to end and it has to end now. On days 91 to 94, I hurried back home to make sure all of my friends were safe. Thankfully, the hunters hadn't found us yet. Fozo, you found my family? Yeah, I did. I told you I would help you out. To keep the rest of his family safe, I quickly went out and built them homes right next to him. Thank you. With the hunter's new plan, we need a place to hide in and feel safe. Agreed. I then went over and saw Aaron and my elder in a conversation. Fozo, thank goodness you're okay. The hunter's plan, it's begun. I know, I saw all of it. If they do this to the entire realm, it will never be habitable for any of us. We have to storm their outpost now, and we have to take Odin down. On days 95 to 99, Aaron and I stormed the main hunter's outpost. There was a whole row of hunters in the front waiting for us, with Odin standing high above, commanding them. I knew you'd show yourself. Finally here to meet your fate? No, I'm here to stop you. Have it your way, men! Attack! The monster hunters rushed in towards Aaron and I and started to slice us with their axes. Aaron took to the skies, summoning gusts of wind to take down groups of them at a time. While he was fighting, I also rushed in and used all my abilities I gained along the way in my journey. I summoned my sonic boom tornado, bit at them, anything to take them down. With Aaron and I's teamwork, we were able to take down most of the group. I looked up and watched as Odin stood in his empire as lightning struck all around him. He's waiting for me. Go, I will hold the rest of them off. On day 100, I made it in the center of the courtyard where Odin was standing. Today's the day you'll finally learn your place in this world. No, today's the day you learned how wrong you've been. You will regret your actions. And when you're gone, this world will be a better place. Odin got frustrated and rushed in to attack. Yeah! His weaponry was way heavier and stronger than his other hunters. And every hit he dealt did a massive amount of damage. With his deadly weaponry, he was even stronger than before. Ah! I fought back, shooting out any ability that I could think of. I can't let everyone down. He was very fast, and I could tell he had a lot of experience as a fighter. I will not let a world Take this from my clan! I kept fighting until I released my sonic boom tornado one last time. But this time, it was completely surrounding him. What is this? Your end! I shot at him with all of my abilities as he started to grow weaker and weaker. No! No! With one final attack, Odin was defeated. Yes! Now it's time for us creatures to live in peace.